uh, you're saying that the major issue is fulfillment in relationship and for this feelings are the most important so what about physical facility what about money money is also definitely required when we have a relationship to continue in the relationship so what is your observation about that what we are saying is that physical facility is important money anyway just an you know uh, kind of mean, mean mode of exchange so that is not something you know something that we directly use but certainly physical facility is required okay but what we are asking is that which is central is it the feeling which is central in relationship or is it the physical facility which is playing a central role that is a question and if you look at it for example you know i have a feeling of you know you come to my home and i present you with a big bouquet of flower right but i do not have that feeling of respect in me so what we feel i on the other hand, if, huh? on the other hand if i have this feeling of respect for you when you come my to my home i may not present this big big you know flower bouquet flower you know, bouquet of flower but i just shake hand you know i you know kind of give a smile you know and welcome you right. now in these two cases what is you know central the feeling or the physical facility yes the feeling is uh, definitely important but when we are uh, say you know in our day to day relationships to express the relationship uh, the other person will expect from time to time something so even to express these feelings some gift some so everything requires money so physical facility is also important but i am saying that it we are not saying that physical facility is unimportant is not required we are saying what is central is the feeling and in the process of expression of my feeling i may need some physical facility and i i am saying i may need right which i by which i mean that i may or may not need physical facility that essentially mean that it is not that we will never need physical facility no we are not saying that we may need so let us take this example you know of this feeling of respect okay if i have feeling of respect for you then i can express this feeling of respect by different modes so one is this i was saying you know i present you a big bouquet of flower second thing is that i have a flower you know plant around in my home in my house and then i can just pick one flower which is just ready to available and present it i may even you know welcome you with my folded hands or i can welcome you with a smile you know so all this is possible to express my feeling of respect so this role of physical facility here is more like more a kind of you know symbol as a is a way of expression okay, rather than the feeling and what is to be conveyed is the feeling so this is one example the other example is that i have a feeling of affection for you right a feeling of care for you and because i feel related to you and i feel responsible towards you then i have to take care of both you know for example the mother has to take care of the child in terms of the self or in and in terms of the body so it has to help the child to develop you know at the level of self and also develop at the level of body 
and that feeling you know of affection which has this this sense of responsibility towards the body is what we are calling as care so if i have this feeling of care if the mother has this feeling of care for the child right then the child the child has to be fed with some food you know so in order to nurture the body food is required so there the physical facility becomes essential in case of expression of respect it is not essential it is very marginal it is very symbolic so all that we have to understand you know that some places to express the feeling physical facility is very necessary at some places it is very symbolic but in both the places what is central is the feeling so that is what we are saying and if you look at it very critically you will see that it is this feeling of care where you really need physical facility as an essential thing for rest of it what is important is the feeling and there can be different modes of expressing that feeling sharing that feeling right even without using the physical facility of course your body is there as a physical thing you know which you can use as an instrument to express your feeling but the need for uh, physical facility there is not very essential not very essential except for the feeling of care but it is useful it can be used as an you know symbol as a process of you know in the process of expression of my feeling so there is nothing wrong using this feel you know physical facility for expression of the feeling but let us not think that because there is lack of physical facility we are not able to accept relationship and fulfill the relationship that is not the reason yeah yes so if relationship is uh mostly feelings and feelings are in the self then what is the role of the body in the relationship that is simple you know that the body is used as an instrument by both the self right and this is used as an instrument as and when required so this is very interesting you know if you uh, if you have somebody comes to your house right and you are not a very good friend then you will do lot of you know uh, arrangement you know offer him a chair you know offer him some thing to eat you know and come and sit with him and talk to him and all that you know you do on the other hand if a friend comes to you a very close friend of yours comes to you right you will not do all this you know if you wants to sit he will take a chair and sit or he will sit on the sofa which is already there or on the bed which is already there right and he would not mind you know if you don't attend him you know he himself say no no complete with your work you know finish with your work then we can sit and talk and you don't have to offer also food you know something to eat immediately so now you can see that there that relay is already established that feeling is already conveyed so you don't need you know lot of this physical expression to convey that feeling but if somebody is coming for the first time yes you do that you know in mm-hmm. fact a very you know beautiful word that is used you know it's called upcharik upcharik means the one which has done which is done for the purpose of upchar upchar is the treatment you know so there is this problem in relationship or the relationship has not been established so in order to establish that relationship you are doing all this once the relationship is established you would not need to do this kind of thing you know the person will come you know sit down find a place for himself sit down you know 
and wait for you to get through with your work if he feels hungry he will ask him you know, ask you to give something to eat but if that relationship has not been established that upchar is necessary you know, something has to be done to establish that relationship so that is the meaning of aucharikta you know, that you have to do in relationship hmm. so this body is used as an instrument as and when required oh. by itself once that relationship is established you will hardly use this you know expressions to the body but most of our interaction with others is through the body only and uh, this uh, what we are saying you know this would need lot of understanding in everybody else also <laughs> no what is the last sentence you say i mean um, i am saying that most of our interaction with others is through the body yes and uh, this uh, to be able to understand that these feelings are in the self and the body is just an instrument and we don't need all this physical facility others would also need to have lot of understanding yes to uh, to so, so. see what we are saying is that as human beings right we are the coexistence of self and body therefore when we go to identify relationship you know different types of relationship we have to take care of both the self and the body right so for example when you define a relationship between a father and a son right then you are defining this relationship both with respect to the self and with respect to the body right so in that sense you know body is important and most of our interaction relationship has also to do with the body so when you are saying how you have to respect your father or how you have to you know fulfill your relationship with father then it that certainly this body is coming into picture along with the self right but the point that we are trying to make is that fundamental thing in fulfillment of this relationship right is it the feeling or is it the expression through the body mm-hmm. what is important so in this particular example of relationship between father and son what is important is this feeling of gratitude and glory on the part of the son and the feeling of affection care and guidance on part of the father if we do not have these feelings then very difficult to define this father son relationship and very difficult to accept and fulfill this relationship for example if the father is trying to dominate trying to insult the son right then will the son have this feeling of gratitude and glory for the father no no and if he does not have this feeling one day or the other he will reply back hmm so he already has this feeling of opposition hmm and if father is trying to dominate then does he have this feeling of affection mm-hmm. so if okay. he does not have this feeling of affection hmm it will start creating problem if the child the son does not have this feeling of gratitude and glory for the father he will not accept the father you know as a guide sometime he will revolt and this is what we see in the family today yes 
So we are physically there as father and son, right? But in terms of feeling, if it is not there, then we are in trouble. Hmm. In fact, many of the families, okay, you see that you know the tense, the relationship between the father and son has become so tense that they will not talk to each other directly. So this mother is there in between, you know. The father has to say something, he will tell to the mother, you know, tell him this. <laughs> and so the son will also tell the mother that you tell him you know, this. And their timetable has been so adjusted that by the time the father goes to the office, the son is sleeping. He will go get up only after he's left. And then he will get ready, take food and go out and come back in the night only after the father has gone to sleep. So this is the interaction at the level of body. But the problem is because, you know, we are not taking care of the feelings. Mm. So, um, when we are uh, going just, I mean, giving more importance to the feeling, we need to have some understanding and some adjustment. So what is the role of, you know, compromising? Like uh, in a relationship, a lot of times we have to sacrifice our uh, so many things, you know, our, um, what is important to us in order for the relationship to continue. So we have to adjust and we have to sacrifice. So what is the role of that? Yeah, you see, when you don't understand relationship and there are problems in relationship, then you kind of take this as a standby, you know, kind of solution, you know, this adjustment, this compromise. What we are saying is, and which we have discussed, you know, that we have to understand relationship, number one. Then we have to accept relationship, number two. Then we have the right feelings in relationship, right? These three things we have to ensure within ourselves. And if we ensure this within ourselves, then we are in a state of harmony and happiness. So this guarantees your happiness. Right. So now, what I have this, you know, understanding and the acceptance and the feeling in the relationship, then I can see that these feelings will be unconditional in me. Right. With this, we have to express these feelings with the other in the relationship. And when I express this feeling in that, you know, to the other relationship, then it will lead to mutual fulfillment. So all this put together will lead to mutual fulfillment. Right. Now, as far as my happiness is concerned, this is ensured. Right? In continuity. Once I have the right understanding and right feeling in relationship, I am in a state of harmony and happiness. And because I have this feeling in me, I am willing to express, willing to share with the other. So it is a natural acceptance of this, you know, natural acceptance of the expression of this feeling. Right? So as far as I am concerned, I am not making any compromise. I am not making adjust, any adjustment. I am doing something which is very natural to me. But this is possible only when I have the understanding of relationship acceptance of relationship and out of that understanding and acceptance I have developed these feelings in myself. If we do not have these un unconditional feelings, right, then any amount of adjustment, any amount of compromise and even sacrifice will not work. Because if we don't have this understanding and these feelings in continuity, unconditional, then you are not in a state of harmony and happiness within. And now if you are trying to make compromise, right, 
if you are trying to make adjustment it will not work because these feelings which are there in within you will keep working and somewhere it will blast you know it will come out mm. right so the only help that we get through this adjustments and compromise and sacrifice is that the feel, the relationship is not getting worse or it is not leading to breakdown that's it so we drag on with this relationship we are not able to resolve it we are not able to ensure mutual fulfillment but at least we are you know not breaking out that is the only advantage which is also useful i would say you know because if you are hanging together right then at least there is a possibility of one time you understanding the relationship and accepting the relationship and having these right feelings in relationship and therefore ensure mutual fulfillment but what i would say is that this is not the solution mm. this is really you know kind of holding holding it True, but you because think that you are making compromise or you are make you know doing a sacrifice because as far as you are concerned you are also in you know a state of un, you know, disharmony and unhappiness mm. so that is the problem that is why you feel you know sacrifice and if you are doing sacrifice or if you are doing adjustment or if you are doing this you know uh, kind of um, prom- compromise then things within you are not in a good state and what will come out of you sooner or later will not be something very good so i keep you know uh, telling this story that uh, and this is a very common story that one of the uh, uh, the daughter in law was quite unhappy with the mother mother in law you know and every time they were fighting and they will cross argue and all that so one day one person came you know and uh, he was asking for the uh, this thing arms and when this daughter in law went to give something you know to this that sadhu or whatever you call him you know he uh, she asked him, told him you know that he, she had this problem you know and can he uh, do something about it and he said it is very simple you know you bring one bottle of water and i will chant some mantra into it and then what you have to do is that whenever your mother in law starts saying something you know or starts shouting at you or complaining about you you put just one you know spit of water in right you know in your mouth and just you know, keep it in mouth you know and when she is finished with the whole thing then you know you can drink that water so very simple and she tried this and it works and she was very happy that yes it works that water is very powerful so if you just keep that water in your mouth okay it avoids your cross argument and your fighting you know with the mother in law but you know this does not work really in the long run now you are putting this water in your mouth so you are not replying back so your fight is not increasing that's all you are holding on to it on to relationship but if at any point it becomes too much you will spit out the water and you know shouting you know start shouting right isn't it Yes. Is that simple solution don't work? Mm. It's so true that you give mantra to the water. You know, even ordinary water will do this much. Mm. But it does not work for the long time. So if I have this feeling that I'm sacrificing or I'm compromising probably on the outside it uh, the outburst may not happen but inside i may not be happy with this yes true mm. 
you are it is true that you have not understood the relationship you have not accepted the relationship unconditionally you do not have these feelings in you unconditionally because if you have understood and have this acceptance and these feelings unconditionally right what will you do with it you will express in relationship and these feelings having these feelings is not something a liability for you it is an asset for you right because with these feelings you are in harmony and happiness within mm. so if you have all this you will only sympathize with the other you know so you will be in a state of harmony and happiness and you will sympathize with the other rather than you know thinking that you are making a sacrifice So with these feelings, you are comfortable within. You are in a state of harmony and happiness within. So that is, there is no compromise. There is no, you know, kind of adjustment. No, because you are anyway in a state of harmony and happiness. And you can see that the other person who does not have this understanding and this feeling is suffering. So we are willing to help him out. Yes. <clears throat> so this example I have been taking about Buddha, you know. So if somebody is coming and spitting on him, he does not think that he has insulted him. He has that love and compassion, and with that love and compassion, he is in state of harmony and happiness within. He is at peace with himself, and then he can see that this man is suffering. He wants to express something, and he is not able to express it. with words so his concern is not that he has insulted him his concern is that this poor person is not able to express himself he has some feeling and maybe a feeling of opposition with which he is suffering and he wants to express it and he is not even able to express it so as far as buddha is concerned he is not doing anything great he is doing what is natural for him but anand does not see it this way anand feels that he is doing an adjustment he is making a compromise so he is saying that if i only had this sword sword with me i would have killed him so he wants to kill this person who has spit on you know on the on buddha but he is making a compromise is making an adjustment and he is suffering therefore today uh, whatever uh, we have uh, discussed uh, from the morning that with reference to harmony in the family and uh, with reference to relationship uh, whatever is suggested over here as a relationship is between self and another self and uh, there are feelings that we have already understood and these feelings can be recognized that is also true uh, but uh, sir i think uh, this portion uh, talks more about self driven relationship self driven feelings uh, i i think uh, that in family we have a specific uh, relationship also that may be called society driven or family driven because this relationship pattern talks more or less on sanguinary relationship that is relationship based on blood relation but there is another relation drive that is available in the family only that is marital relationship sir in this relationship uh, we understand we understand and there are so many insinuation also hints also uh, regarding old age home and regarding divorce and other thing. but with reference to marital relationship that is a society driven thing and we maintain that sir without which there cannot be the relationship that we are talking about which is based on sanguinary or blood relationship Sir, uh, that I like to focus on 
that uh, in these you know uh, feelings elements over there these are naturally acceptable uh, by our natural acceptance that this relationship drive is there between one self with another self but with reference to marriage which is a societal norm and that is also personal laws to govern it like in hindu marriage and in muslim marriage there is a specific you know sir personal laws over there so uh, if if ganesh ji can uh, you know <laughs> light enlighten us about that because uh, this relationship that nowhere i have found that reference of relationship of marriage and that is a vital ongoing thing with us we cannot avoid that in society because we would be talking about uh, society or relationship in society also uh, in in larger front so how can we relate it sir without that reference over here it's uh, it seems in complete uh, because it is self driven though it covers generally everything but there is no specific highlight because there may be questions in future that we have that sort of relationship and uh, that is an established truth truth we cannot I go away from that. Uh, if uh, Ganesh ji, uh, yes, I could enlighten us. Are, I mean, we are certainly including that also, you know, as a relationship. Like we took this example of relationship between father and son. Yeah. There is relationship between son and wife. But let us look at this. You know what you are saying that. Uh, the relationship which is defined on the basis of social norms yes sir so it is true that uh, you know every society has certain norms as far as this marriage you know is concerned or the relationship based on marriage yes is defined so there are certain uh, specific norms and rules and regulations and things like that but what is important in this also is this acceptance of relationship right and the feelings in relationship that is what we are saying that this acceptance of relationship and this feeling of relationship is what is important yes sir that's true and more than that what we are saying is that if we really understand relationship we can see that the relationship is there with every human being right not only with father and son and husband and wife but the relationship is there with every human being and when i understand this feeling understand this that the relationship is there i have this acceptance of feeling for everyone right so i have this acceptance of this relationship with everyone and therefore i will have this feelings unconditional feelings for everyone now when it comes to fulfillment of this feeling in relationship then i start with those who are in my vicinity who are around me you know in the family or as friends or in workplace but that feeling is there for everyone and that is why you know in many traditions okay. it has been said for two things you know one is about this atithi so anybody who comes right it is my responsibility you know to take care of him so many of these societies i was talking about that langar one day right whoever comes he is fed and he is provided some space to you know stay so even those who are not known to you you are willing to fulfill your relationship with this person because you know that the relationship is already there and yes. you are responsible towards it no there is no doubt about that i am coming coming to your answer okay Please. the second thing is that in many of these societies it has been therefore said that when you are getting married to someone what is important is your acceptance of relationship and your feelings in relationship right so there is no matter of choice for you right 
so anybody will make choice for you what you have to have is this unconditional acceptance and this competence you know to fulfill the relationship in terms of the feeling so for a long time these societies you know would work out a way that you know the parents will go and see and fix the marriage or even this barber will go and fix the marriage you know now this is something you know where it is said that what you have to have is this unconditional acceptance and this competence to fulfill the relationship if you have that then whoever is there you are willing to fulfill that relationship and once you accept that relationship you go with it there is no you know question of opting out of it so if you look at this word divorce in english right you have no equivalent word in hindi in sanskrit right for divorce <coughs> the concept is not there so it has not to do with the competence of the other it has to do with my competence it has to do with my acceptance but these are interesting experiments i would say you know take them as experiment and think over them so it is not an issue of just relationship between husband and wife it is ultimately understanding the relationship between one human being and the other human being having that unconditional acceptance and having these feelings in relationship so you are working for a very high you know kind of target high possibility of human existence and these are the small experiments in the process but you may say that you no know, no why i get into these experiments you know there is no use i want something which will make me happy and at the base of it my assumption is that the happiness will come from outside so i am looking for someone who can give me feeling of affection give me feeling of respect i can looking i'm looking for someone who will you know give me you know desired kind of expected kind of sensation so in that case yes i am making a choice to get married to a particular ex who can give me all this so these are the experiments which have been conducted but you can look into them yes now if you have any question on this will yeah. yeah. so uh, whatever the, uh, we have uh, just uh, told about that that fulfills that is a self driven relationship as i have uh, already explained but with reference to when society comes in in broader aspect especially uh, when state is involved uh, with fixing the ethics the morality then the problem remains sir you see in uh, with reference to uh, muslim personal law a man can marry uh, four or keep four wives at a time now you see sir this is not possible with reference to women so this sort of disparity is there and still it is given the uh, yes it is given uh, the license that yes you can do that so a simple you know uh, sort of you know disrespect may cause a certain talaq and may cause involvement of another wife in the family and that is why the family itself is in trouble and uh, in uh, the case of divorce as you have mentioned the same thing happens that there is no conformity in between later on there may be you know uh, the self driven causes that there should be feelings that are universal we we don't have any objection with these feelings sir but we with the reference of the state involvement when we are getting different sort of licenses uh, in the same pattern in the same indian society then the problem remains uh, sometimes because we cannot work with reference to the feelings part because experimentally we are given this sort of obstructions and uh, maybe uh, sometimes that is why we are not getting self fulfilling causes so we have to look into this sir yeah see my response to this would be that when we 
get to the base and as i said the base is understanding and the feeling in the relationship then we can see that there can be different expressions and these expressions may be a function of time you know function of the situation in the society at that time and so many things <coughs> Look at these rituals or these norms. These norms are developed at some point of time on the basis of this understanding and the feelings. But if you don't understand the difference between these three things, the understanding, the feeling, and the expression of it, then we make these norms, you know. a kind of uh, very uh, hard you know and not flexible and then if the situation changes the situation in the society changes and the time changes then these many of these norms may look very you know inappropriate so what we have to do is to understand you know, things so first we have to see this understanding of the relationship then the acceptance of relationship then the feeling of relationship and then the expression of relationship the first three things are definite the fourth one is dependent on time and situation so we have to fix up this first three instead of fixing up this fourth one the expression of it because if we fix the fourth one that is the norms which is decided regarding the expression of these feelings and we make it rigid then we are in trouble and that is what is happening so many of this you know society you would see when they were faced with a particular situation they came up with certain norms so when there was so much of fight going on you know war going on and the male members were you know in the process of uh, this fighting you know every day many of them were getting killed and then this was a social issue that what do you do with the wife you know is women they are in trouble now because this men are you know killed in the war okay, which is going on every day now what do we do so at that situation it was said that okay you know if uh, some male member feels responsible towards this you know uh, ladies then he can take the responsibility take the responsibility of more than one now this is one situation where such norm is being developed now if you don't see it with that commitment with that feeling and you try to you know interpret it differently and you know uh, not having that sense of responsibility in the relationship that sense of feeling in the relationship then it can always be misinterpreted comes <coughs> a big liability <coughs> so we have to see that these expressions which are giving rise to the norms are dependent on the time on the situation on the you know the conditions of the whole society so that is the problem so we have to be more you know uh, open and look at this understanding part the acceptance part and the feeling part of relationship and in the light of that we have to keep defining this different ways of expression and therefore the norms of the society from time to time and we should be generous to understand you know or uh, interpret this norms you know which were developed at different times with the then you know state existing condition of the society okay sir no problem at all but uh, we, we have to uh, you know keep ourselves open to uh, face that, that sort of 
situations that are already there in the society and the state. So we cannot be oblivious of all these things that are also uh, very important facts to consider. Only that thing I wanted Naya, to point it out. Naya, sir. I'm not saying that you have to be oblivious. You have to be open and, you know. Yes, sir. That's, that's it. And all this process, what is yes, happening? Yes, sir. For example, in India, in Rajasthan particularly, which is almost, you know, it was at the entry of this country, India, a lot of invasions took place. Yes, sir. And there was a lot of fight, you know, with these invaders. And there were a lot of death okay, of this, particularly these Rajputs. You know. Yes. And now, when there was a mass killing, now these uh, wives, you know, they had to decide what to do. Now, different societies have developed different sort, sort of, you know, uh, norms and, you know, kind of their own sanskar. So these ladies, they decided that, okay, we'll collectively put ourselves on fire. Yes. Okay? Rather than face whatever kind of virtuality that may come in, you know, because by that, it was quite clear that what these invaders will do. Now, this gave rise to this so much of noise at the time of Britishers. In Britishers, in fact, took this in a very bad way and they defamed, you know. And uh, that, you know, this in Rajasthan, the ladies are forced to burn themselves with the husband, yeah, the dead body yeah, of the yes. husband. Right. Which is not true, really. You know. I mean, this is a way for the society to face a particular kind of condition. But what was important for this, you know, if you see this, ladies, they have that sense of commitment, you know, that feeling for their husband. And they think that, okay, I mean, I don't see any meaning to live, you know, otherwise. Now, that's a very uh, kind of uh, pious thing to do, rather than facing all kind of uh, ritualism. So, uh, but then you can't justify this also, you know, either way. And you cannot even condemn this. So you have to understand this. Yes, sir, that we are doing. That, that means uh, the, the feelings part are already kept in abeyance during that time. Because if we feel in that way, that means there is a the, the total lapse of social conformity that we are telling about that uh, feelings are universal and feelings are doing all these things. That means total loss of feelings during that time, especially uh, during what time, as you have pointed out nicely, that uh, you know, women were uh, driven to uh, for, you know, get or commit suicide, mass suicide, that is. So that is what, that means there is a, no uh, sort of you know, a social responsibility to keep that, that why that should be going on. No, and you know, sir, the for the same reason in Bengal, there was a cooling system. That was also, uh, the, as you uh, told, that it is uh, time specific, that we understand. But at the same point, we are referring to that where are the, these feelings working on? Because ultimately, these feelings are at abeyance because these feelings are not working properly. Point, it, the point therefore it, is that you yes. have to think in terms of ensuring these feelings. That's, that's the challenge, sir. We have to keep that. That uh, these it's feelings are saying. universal and these feelings didn't work on a certain time. It doesn't mean that they don't work. No, no. It's not that they didn't work. Only thing that there were people who did not have this understanding of relationship and acceptance of relationship and feeling of relationship. That was the problem. The invaders, for example, right? Yes, sir. Had this problem that they did not have this minimum, minimum feeling, you know. Now, what do we do? Then we face, you know, with whatever emergency way of doing it. But that does not become the norms then. And even now, if we don't put things into education, things... Exactly. Uh, oh. Here lies the difference of uh, living education. That I agree all the time. From the very beginning, it was introduced in our course. Yeah, today what is happening, I remember one of my friends, 
from Chhattisgarh. He was telling me that he is the he, he is the um, kind of president of this Sindhi Samaj there, you know. And he was telling that now we are in deep trouble because of this mobile. And what is happening is that a marriage is fixed, right? And then this boy and the girl are very free to talk to each other on phone. And he was saying that more than 50% of the marriage are breaking down even before the marriage takes place. <laughs> Between the fixing up of the marriage and then, you know, marriage taking place, 50% of them are breaking down. Because they have become so intolerant to each other. Right? So they will talk to each other on phone and they will have some disagreement over something and then they'll say, okay, I mean, <laughs> I'm no more interested. Now, what is happening? Now, whether you do this after the marriage or before, even before the marriage, that is not important. What is important is that are we, you know, having these feelings in relationship? If not, then we are going to suffer. And today it is going from bad to worse. <laughs> 